Welcome to the B22 Orca Control Room Monitor Quick Start Guide. In this video, we will be covering jumper settings for AVID delay compensation and DAC filters, installing the B22 Orca into the B80 and B16 motherships, calibration settings, front panel control, and rear panel connections. By using jumpers on JP2, as shown here, you are able to adjust the B22 Orca's DAC filter setting and AVID delay matching. The B22 ships with the jumpers placed in their default setting, as shown here. This setting offers a short delay filter and no added latency, the classic burl sound. Placing a jumper on A will switch to the long delay filter, with longer delay and a more forward mid-range. Placing a jumper on B will increase delay to match the output delay of an AVID HDIO. Placing jumpers on A and B switches to the long delay filter with a forward mid-range and AVID delay matching. This chart shows different DAC filter delay, sound, and AVID delay compensation according to jumpers on A and B. When installing the B22 into the B80 chassis, make sure the metal daughter card backplate is inserted into the card guides and not the green PCB. Using the provided solid core wire, pull the cables through from the rear of the chassis. Once inserted, tighten the thumb screws. Attach the digital and analog connections to the faceplate. Attach the faceplate to the chassis by tightening the thumb screws. To install the B22 into the B16 mothership, you must first remove the lid. Once the lid is removed, install the B22 into the card guides. Make sure that the metal daughter card backplate is inserted and not the PCB. Once inserted, tighten the thumb screws. Pull the cables through to the front of the chassis. Attach the digital and analog connections to the faceplate. Attach the faceplate to the chassis by tightening the thumb screws. This is a diagram showing the B22 Orca signal flow. Here we have four LEDs indicating signal for channels 1 and 2 and speaker out left and right. Next we have the BX5 switch. By pressing this switch, you will be engaging the BX5 output transformer. This LED indicates if the BX5 is engaged or not. This is the speaker select switch. The speaker select switch cycles between four settings, mute, speaker A, speaker B, and headphones. These LEDs indicate which setting you've selected. The B22 will always power on with mute selected. The B22 comes standard with the Alps audiophile attenuator shown here. A second option is the Elma 0.1% resistor matched stepped attenuator shown here. This is the same attenuator found on the control room side of the B26 Orca. Last, we have a headphone output quarter inch jack for monitoring through your headphones. You can cycle through to headphones with the speaker select switch. This is a Tascam style DB25 output connection with eight channels. Channels one and two are line level outputs with the switchable BX5 output transformer. Channels three and four are speaker A left and right, Channels 5 and 6 are speaker B left and right, and channels 7 and 8 are for meter outputs. Lastly, we have the calibration trim pots. Channels 1 and 2 are calibrated to plus 4 dBU equals minus 18 dBFS. At this calibration, a max line level of plus 22 dBU is possible. Channels 3 and 4 are calibrated to plus 4 dBU equals minus 12 dBFS. At this calibration, a max speaker level of plus 16 dBU is possible. The meter is calibrated to plus 4 dBU equals minus 18 dBFS. At this calibration, a max line level of plus 22 dBU is possible. Meters must be calibrated after channels 3 and 4.